Welcome to the Creative Sense 3D camera setup video. First, you'll want to set up the camera. The base of the camera is designed with an adjustable arm that allows it to be able to fit onto a wide variety of computer displays. Take the camera and position it at the top of your computer display. In the case of this laptop, the arm acts as a lever to hold it in place. Aim the camera so that it is roughly perpendicular to the user. This angle may change depending on the type of display or computer you have. Next, plug in the camera into the USB port. At this point, the operating system should recognize the camera and you can use it as you would any other webcam. However, to get the full usage of the camera, you'll want to install the camera drivers and software applications included in the box. Take the USB stick that was in the box and plug it into your computer. It will automatically launch the Creative Sense 3D software installer. If you've already purchased the camera, you may have already reached this step on your own. The installation step will take around 10 minutes or so depending on your specific hardware and software combination. We're not going to show each step, but along the way you'll see the license agreement, setup type, and destination folder, as well as the Creative Camera software. We suggest you select the defaults unless you have a specific reason not to. This screen is important. You should, at the very least, install the first two items on the list, which have the words Intel Perceptual Computing SDK Runtime in the title. Once the software installation is complete, you will need to restart your system. First, remove the USB stick, since some computers may not boot properly if you leave it in. Then, choose the Restart option. You're almost ready to go. However, to get the best experience, you'll want to know a few things. Make sure there aren't any incandescent lights shining into the camera. Be aware that reflective surfaces, such as photo frames, mirrors, or windows can cause problems. And eliminate exposure to direct sunlight. Keep in mind the preferred and maximum activation ranges for applications using the camera. Let's go over some of the various usages of the camera in conjunction with the installed software. It has the ability to recognize movement and gestures. It has the ability to remove or add backgrounds to video. It supports facial recognition and voice interaction. As with any technology, there are practical limits. Here are some tips to help improve accuracy and interaction with your new camera. Try to make sure your hands are far enough in front of your head so that the system can differentiate between them. Keep your hands in the field of view of the camera so that it doesn't lose track of them. If an application is in windowed mode, make sure the application is selected and in focus. And finally, only one camera enabled or voice enabled application at a time can make use of the camera. Simultaneous operation is not possible. That concludes this setup video. Enjoy your camera!